Hi, this is Marcel of Marcel on Tech and today we're talking about probably what is one of the best flipping phones on the market right now. This is the Motorola Razr 40 Ultra. This bad boy has got the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. It has got two very powerful cameras on the front. It's got a 144 hertz front panel that covers almost the entire front screen here. And the inside screen is just gorgeous, rocking a brilliant 120 hertz screen as well that is, of course, completely foldable. Let's talk about why you might want to consider getting one. Let's get into it. Okay, so talking about the Motorola 40 Ultra, this has got to be, in my mind, one of the best designed flippable phones at the moment. This really has impressed me. I've tested out the uh, flip phone from Samsung, which of course is the most widely used one because generally there isn't much competition to Samsung being so broadly available. But this Motorola is way up there as a competitor. So as always, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons and also my recommendation as to whether you should consider getting one of these. Let's talk first of all about the design. I really like the design of this product. It is very, very nice, first of all, in this magenta red, it's very bright very vibrant just depends on what kind of coloring you like I love the vibrant color here I really like this deep red and the combination of red and black always works well for me um, as a design feature goes I think it's been extremely well made this hinge mechanism has held up brilliantly um, I've had it in my pocket I've used it around obviously when you do open it up it completely conceals it there so it gets tucked away and then of course it opens out like that so this has been working really, really well. Now, one of my observations that I have heard is that it's made a few sounds like cracking. Now, I tried to talk about that in my first uh, video, and it's not necessarily cracking of the material, but it sounds like uh, there's sand in the mechanism, but there definitely isn't. I haven't taken this to the beach or anything like that. Um, so it is very, very odd, but doesn't always do it. Sometimes if it's been closed and then open for a while, it could just be a new phone sound. A um, little bit ominous to begin with, but there's nothing wrong with the mechanism. It does make a little bit of noise when you open it, but it's no big deal. Um, then of course, I love the fact that the uh, fingerprint reader, now the fingerprint reader on the side, or where you can see here, that fingerprint reader is really quick, like really quick. So if you switch it off, we can actually unlock it. Oh, switch it off, screen is off. If I just tap it like that, it unlocks. If I just tap it like that, it unlocks. If I lock it, super duper fast. That works this way around as well. As soon as you close the lid, of course, it locks. If I just place my finger over the top, it unlocks. And that opens up now into the software on the front here. So going into software on the front screen, you have got access to 98% of what's inside the phone. So you actually don't even need to open the phone every time you pick this thing up, which is very, very useful. Now in a world where we're constantly distracted by lots of different things, it does help to have a little bit less distraction or less necessity to open the phone up completely. Now there are some apps that are gonna be pointless on here, particularly long scrolling apps, but you can watch YouTube videos on here or you can play. There are even some actual games pre-installed on the phone. Um, none of them I like very much, but you know, if you like that sort of simple gaming, uh, then they can be quite fun to play. Otherwise, the usability of the exterior screen is brilliant. And of course, for the camera, for the purposes of the camera, then of course, what we can then do is show you yourselves and we can take pictures of ourselves using the main shooters as well, instead of using the inside. In fact, I haven't even used the inside camera other than for video calling. So this functionality is brilliant. We can switch between video, photo booth, you've got mirror options, all these different functionalities there that, are work, that work really, really well. And so then of course, you can always set it up as a tripod. So then it goes this way around. So then you can see me or I can see you. And if you're taking a picture of somebody else, you can actually take the picture, have them displayed here, and I can see obviously on this side as well. So in terms of function, the camera function combined with the design and software, they've done a really, really good job. This is exactly the type of direction that it should be going in. So this has been very, very impressive for me. Let's talk about battery life. Battery life has been solid. It hasn't been amazing, 
but it's been solid. Now it has got a 33 watt charger in the box, which is a bonus because it's nice to get a charger in the box along with a cable. Um, that charges it up pretty quickly. Um, different ratios depending on, uh, on how you use it, but basically you can get a full charge very, very quickly in about, it takes about an hour and a half maximum, 60% charge in about half an hour, which is really good. Uh, and that makes all the difference. You've got wireless charging, again, essential, very, very useful um, and really, really good. And then of course, uh, another design feature that I really appreciate is the vegan leather on the back. That is a very, very nice soft touch material. Um, that feels really, really good to the touch. And actually, a lot of people I showed this to were very surprised, first of all, by the design, and then that soft touch back is really nice, and therefore also fingerprint resistant because you're not gonna get any on there. Everyone loves the fact that it cut, it closes completely sealed. There is no gap between the two panels there, so it is a really, really nice clamshell, solid design, really well built. Um, and fantastic edges here with the symmetrical antenna lines. Attention to detail here has been really high. Let's talk a little bit now about some of the cons. Okay, so the cons are the biggest elephant in the room probably is the price point. This bad boy was 1,200 euros. Now that is a lot of money uh, to pay for something that is still breaking ground. So that is gonna be a, a big turnoff for a lot of people. It's a flagship sort of uh, price, but not for every, not everything in this is flagship quality. For example, the cameras. Now, uh, the camera quality is good. I'd say B plus. I haven't found myself being really excited about taking photos on this device, unfortunately. And I find that it does let it down a little bit. When you look at the computational imagery compared to, let's say, the Samsungs, even they on the flip phones are not the best but because of the color science and the way they process them, they do work really, really well. This one is, like I say, a B plus. You can get video, you can get 4K, you can get an ultra wide lens. They're 13 megapixels, so they're not gonna be hugely detailed, but we know now that the megapixel is not what it's all about. Um, so the image quality is good. It's not gonna be excellent, but for the price, that is a bit of a problem. One of the advantages that you do get, because you have got Victus Gorilla Glass on the front here, which will protect it, but it does come with a clear case, even color matching case inside the box. So I didn't pay for this separately. That is a massive, massive plus from Motorola, because not only did they include a charger, they also included a clear case as well, which you can see fits really, really nice on there, looks great does add a little bit of bulk, but it also adds a bit of grip. This phone is not difficult to grip, which is a massive bonus anyway, but with this extra protective casing, you can still see the lovely colors, but it comes with this. Now this does feel a little bit on the flimsy side. So I mean, because you have to have a huge gap here, taking this on and off is a bit precarious. Um, and you, I do find that dust gathers under there quite intensely, but it is obviously fit for purpose, which is to, of course, protect the phone as best it can, okay? So that is always gonna be a win to have a case in the box. Coming back to the cameras, the low light conditions were always seemingly a bit of a problem with this phone. Um, they are okay, but a lot of granulation, quite a lot of over-processing as well, um, particularly when using either the wide shot or the uh, the main camera. But it is, it is doable, it's not the end of the world, but again, it's not a flagship camera setup, even though it's got a flagship price. Software-wise, well, you're running uh, uh, Android 13, which is fantastic. I have to say it does pre-installed uh, with quite a lot of apps from Motorola. Some of them useful, some of them gimmicky. There is a lot of guidance. When you first set up the phone, there's a lot of guidance as to how to use the phone, which is actually quite helpful and it's laid out in a very clear way. Of course, those apps are deletable, so you can get rid of them once you don't need them, but uh, they are there, they do take up a bit of space. This device actually comes with 256 gigs of memory with 12 gigs of RAM, so this for me hasn't slowed down. It has been very quick, no glitches, fully functional. It's a little bit bloatware with regard to the Motorola software, but otherwise it has been really good for me and I've been very pleased with it. So. I don't have a problem with the software. I've got used to it very, very quickly. And I have to say, 
this device has slotted into my life very, very quickly. And I'm really pleased about that because it doesn't always happen where you can adjust to using a new device as a daily driver. And I've been using this as a daily driver and it has been very impressive. I've been very, very pleased with how well it has worked. Um, and the screen is, is never gonna be a complaint because it is just crispy clean. There are loads of wallpapers that you can play with. I could make a whole separate video about that actually. Sorry, there are a whole bunch of uh, wallpapers. There's adorable characters there um, for the front panel as well. You can even get these little caricatures that come up on the front here. They are adorable, quite amusing. You tap on them and they look, they're doing work as well. So just like I am. So they are quite adorable and very, very well laid out. I do really, really like that from a software standpoint, but it is a little bit on the, on the bloatware side, but it can be tidied up as well. So it's not the, bit, the end of the world. So in conclusion, should you get this device? Yes, the answer is absolutely. If you're looking for a flippable device, if you're looking for something that will fit inside your pocket very, very easily, let me show you. Easy peasy. If you're looking for something that will go into your pocket and it will not bulge out or make a really overstated position there, then this is a great device to get. It is very, very good on the panel. Everyone talks about the crease. Yes, you can see it a little bit, but when the panel is on, you can't see it. And because of the fact that you're not using the middle of the screen very much, apart from swiping your fingers over, you're not even gonna feel it. So the crease is becoming much less of a conversation now. Uh, much less important or relevant. This device is really good in terms of being able to flip open, but with the added real estate on the front side, this really is a bit of a game changer because it allows for much more functionality. If you can get this in a sale price, so for anything under a thousand euros, you're gonna be a very happy bunny. You get a charger in the box, you get the uh, case as well, which is fully usable and will last and it will work really, really well for this. Now, inside the apps as well, you can even get software support or hardware support, which you can pay additional fee for, which is actually quite a nice feature coming from Motorola. So um, there are definite advantages to getting this over something like the Samsung. Be sure to check out my video for that uh, because I'll put the links in the description. But I have loved this phone, and I have to say, I think they've done a really good job to compete with the biggest players, but also to make sure that this actually does meet expectations. If you can get it for a sale price or under a thousand euros, you won't be disappointed. This is an excellent, excellent device. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any feedback, please put it in the comments below. As always, please like and subscribe because it helps my channel, which is growing nicely, but a little slowly. So I really need your help in that regard. Otherwise, thanks so much. And I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye-bye for now.